Garth Mitchell is an artist, a fitter, a welder and a lover, a lover of Harley Davidson. So imagine what happened when Garth decided to take to his Harleys and do stuff with them. And just a note before we get going, the accessories on his bikes are not the real deal. So he's not as scary as he looks. This is from Hamish Clark in Christchurch. It's one of a kind. Armed and dangerous. A Harley Davidson with attitude. Its name, Full Metal Jacket. Forged and fabricated by Garth Mitchell. And it's here in his workshop out the back of his house where Garth has created his own choppers. That's what I like. I like the medieval and the gothic time period and stuff. And that was the mark of a man, was showing his sword and going into battle. Garth is a fitter and welder by trade. The one-off bikes are complete contrast to his usual work of making balustrades, furniture and sculptures. This motorcycle, called the Armoured Knight, was originally a 1983 Harley-Davidson Sportster. It didn't go and was selling cheap. Garth has transformed it, spending four years and over 3,000 hours working late at night to create this monster. Because I've based the, based the bike around a horse and an armoured an armored knight ready to go into battle. The more you look at the bike, the more you see. It even has weapons, all designed for use on the battlefield. This piece here is um, not your average knife. I call it a sickle blade. Once held and stuff in your hand, it's um, more of a, I've designed it as more of a defense weapon. The blade is made of forged stainless steel and you have, um, the rest of it is finished with copper. Foot control here, brake, um, this is the air cleaner, which doubles as a, a little battle shield as well. There is also an axe on each side of the rear wheel that can be detached and joined together. And, and the plan was, uh, with having uh, the two axes, was to actually put the axes together. So it made one weapon and then once you're out on the battle, battlefield you can separate the two to have two weapons instead of one. And yes, the chopper does go. The sharp edges means it's just for show, can't be ridden on the open road, but it's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Garth's second motorcycle has been transformed from a 1995 Bat Boy into a battle chopper. And it is fully covered in uh, stainless steel plate that has been hammered and forged. Called Full Metal Jacket and built out of stainless steel and copper rivets, it too is armed and dangerous. Featuring the weapons on the bike, um, we've got two 44 uh, Magnums with a 6 inch barrel, Dirty Harry, um, two little uh, 22 Derringers, and of course you've got to have your ammo case to keep you well supplied. And then um, I have a semi-automatic shotgun down on the back. The guns are all for show, but still pack the looks at motorcycle shows. They're craning and looking, and what, what the hell is that? What is that, you know? After four months' work, Full Metal Jacket is 90% complete. The last of the stainless steel plates need to be hammered and forged into place. Where's this piece going to go? Oh, well, this piece here was um, possibly we will be a cover plate, which is an access plate, so you, access plate, so you can get to your clutch. Well over 7,000 individual hammer marks have gone into this bike so far. And there's still a few more hundred to go yet. In the meantime, Garth tries to get out on the road as often as possible on his rolling pieces of art. Very proud. Yes, very proud. This is just what I do.